Here's the latest poll. Uh, this is amongst Republicans. National poll, Giuliani's at 27, Thompson, who will announce on Thursday, 17, Romney, 15, McCain, 12. But then ask the question, who has the best chance against a Democratic candidate? Look at that. Giuliani goes to 38, Thompson 14, McCain 13, Romney 11. They think Rudy is a better general yeah. election candidate, Mike Murphy. Yeah, well, Rudy owns the national polls right now, and I think if the election were held today, it would be the best national candidate. The problem is I don't think the national polls mean anything until after the Iowa caucus. Um, because these polls are not based on any full appreciation of any of the candidates yet. And Rudy has a tremendous advantage of being really, really well known and identified with a certain kind of strength that I think people, you know, find very appealing. But I think all four of them have a glass jaw, which is what makes this a very interesting primary. I think no, none of the big four kind of have a lock on this thing. McCain's glass jaw was immigration, and he got that hit and it knocked him right back. A big, tough TV hit on Mitt Romney on kind of ideological gymnastics would hurt him. A hit on Rudy Giuliani on social liberalism would hurt him. And I think a little bit of a hit on Fred Fred Thompson could hurt him too. I'm, we, we don't really know what the Fred Thompson candidacy is yet, and I think the problem they're going to have, just to give equal glass jaw time quickly to Fred from a Republican point of view, and I like Fred. I think he'd be a pretty good president. But I also think Fred doesn't fit the super conservative mold perfectly either. The truth is, none of these guys do. It's like they're all trying to haunt the George Allen space that got vacated, <laughs> and I'm not even sure that was a ticket to the nomination. So none of them quite fit. And we've got a very compressed schedule where a few early states, I think, will run a domino effect. And my big question as a spectator now is, is who's going to hit who first with paid television? Does laziness no. cut as an issue? No, I don't think so. I think, I think Fred can fix that by executing the next two weeks well. But Fred's problem has been, there's been he's kind of been vaporware, as they say in Silicon Valley. There's a story of this great thing that's supposed to happen. And then he goes out and he performs, and he hasn't performed very well. Now, he can fix that by performing really well. But now the stakes are high, and we're going to see in the next two weeks what he's going to do. I remember when Ronald Reagan was accused of being lazy, he said, well, you know, hard work never killed anybody, but why, <laughs> but why take a chance? <laughs> right, right, exactly. Fred uses that line a lot. <laughs> James Carville, well, how, how do you see the Republican race? Be counterintuitive. I, I be kind of, well, i, I, I got to be intuitive here, please. <clears throat> I think it's true. N I've never seen a guy have so much pressure on him starting a campaign as Fred Thompson did. Right. We're going to know in four weeks. He doesn't have any slip up, and he probably slips off the radar screen. If he performs, then it's not going to matter what his organization is going to matter much less what his organization is like. But I mean, the, the, the amount of attention that he's going to get over the next three or four weeks is going to be enormous. The expectations, he, if, if he does as well as everybody else, that's not going to be good enough. I mean, it, as a right. result of his waiting, there's a, there's a ton of pent up demand and interest in this guy. And people are really going to be watching him. He's going to be on Jay Leno this week. They, you know, people are going to pay attention. Every speech he gives, it, people are going to analyze it. It's going to be a very interesting time in, in, in U.S. politics. Uh, the Republicans right now, by every measure, from fundraising to polling and anything else, are really dissatisfied with their field. So, I mean, I, I suspect yeah. there's a lot of Republican hope out there for Fred Thompson. But the long, the long tease requires a great performance. It does. It yeah. does. The only guy anybody with tease when you 500 people are talking to each other. The Republicans, now, for the first time, are Mary, I love you, but you are not actually the ideal spokesman I for the average person in America. I am a normal person. <laughs> yes, I was at school orientation while you guys were glued to the TV on Larry Craig. This performance <laughs> <laughs> you know, nor the Republican Party is getting to date for the first time since 1960. We've always had a front runner. So on a date, if you don't perform yeah, the first out of the box, guess you what? You get another chance. Well, you get in the right. On Wednesday night, all the other Republicans will be on a stage debating in New Hampshire. Fred Thompson will be on Jay Leno. Is that appropriate? And guess what? Who do you think has the largest audience at that time. Jay Leno has 31% of the audience at the time immediately preceding the video. This is a message drive driven campaign and we want to drive people and the biggest place to do that was Jay Leno. We want to drive him right at 1201 to hear Fred Thompson's principles, which is the definition of performance. I don't know what they mean by performance. You know what he means by performance. It is getting your <laughs> principles out there and we want to drive them right to the video so they don't have to go with the prism of us. You can read it and you can see it and you can hear him deliver his principles. Performance Thank you, Mary, means can he answer basic questions, I think, about that people now have about Republicans. For example, should you vote Republican 
for to end the war in Iraq? Should you vote Republican for a better health care plan? No, Bob, Should you vote Republican? We're going into the, into the general election wedge issues. Nice try, but this is a primary. I hope We're Hillary talking about hires you. That's great. Frame it up that I'm, way. I'm not for anybody. There's the not question, a Kenny, question he cannot right, answer. Right. Can he up his message game, and can he work in a media environment more hostile than Fox? Those are the two questions I think he's set up to answer, but he's got to go do it. Yeah, he does. The, the Leno thing will be good from a voter contact point of view. It's big, it's flashy, and there will right. always be another New Hampshire debate. The question will be, can he go into the real media grinder and impress some people with some depth? That, that, I think, is what he has at well, stake. Well, he spent we'll two terms in the Senate. Come on. No, I think he has, he has very to high it, expectations. He has he before we take a break,